en quoi Veuillez vous asseoir. Please be seated. Reprise de l'audience. Elle donne à présent la parole à l'accusation afin qu'elle puisse we'll give the floor to poursuivre the son interrogatoire. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, just one preliminary matter. We're, we obviously we're moving a little slower um, because of the translation and uh, other issues with this witness. Uh, I anticipate that uh, I have. This is obviously a very important witness. I have I'm in another session, one more session of questions relating to Tramcock, Crank, Chan, maybe a little more, <laughs> and then I'd like to pose questions to this witness also on. Uh, the central zone. Um, I'm assuming we will not be calling this witness back uh, late, later in the trial. Uh, he has uh, information relating to that. Um, so in view of the uh, um, having to go a little slower with this witness and his importance, um, we, we would, uh, I've talked to the civil parties, we would request to have an additional session, which means that I would finish today and they would use uh, the first session tomorrow morning. Um, so that's, that's our request in order to be able to uh, cover the issues that uh, this witness has. Just to clarify, the request for an additional session is a combined request from the colleague Lars and the, yeah, thank you. Nous vous une session où la, vous Are avez besoin de toute la matinée. Vous demandez pour une session aujourd'hui ou vous avez besoin de toute la matinée de demain aussi Nous demandons juste la première session de la session de la matinée, donc nous avons fini par la matinée de la matinée, combinée entre nous et les civils. Nous avons fini la pause du matin à nous deux avec les partis civils. Le Président, merci beaucoup. Um, President, thank you very much. Um, um, just to be clear, um, we're completely clair. unprepared for any questioning on issues relating to the central zone. Um, I wonder why this request is coming now and, and, and not earlier. Um, I'm also asking myself the question in how far the upcoming questions on matters relating to the central zone is in fact uh, within the scope uh, of this second trial. Uh, so there's all kinds of questions that I have that are not answered at this stage. So I, I would like to have some more clarity and clarification from the prosecution as to what exactly I mean, if it's questions on, on, on the rubber plantation, I, I suppose that's fine. But if it goes beyond VA, that, um, then I would have a problem. I can respond very, very easily to that. Uh, he shouldn't be baffled at all. I specifically brought up this issue uh, when we were talking about um, uh, the witness statements, the new witness statements that have been obtained. Uh, the purge of the central zone is a direct issue in this trial. Uh, this chamber has already said, um, particularly with elderly witnesses, that we're going to cover all of the relevant issues and not be in a position where we're having to call back witnesses. So no, no one should be surprised uh, at all that this witness is going to be examined on this issue, which is one of the direct issues that are part of this trial. Cette question est directement liée au procès. 
I'm, I'm trying to keep up with all this, uh, Mr. President, uh, Your Honours, but I'm simply uh, I'm not prepared for this. Um, for these questions. I mean, um, there's all kinds of new statements uh, that have, have arrived in our case file. Uh, there are so many issues. Um, I don't see any reason why we should expect that this uh, witness couldn't come back at one point in time. He seems uh, quite fit. Uh, so I really don't see the, the necessity to move ahead to an issue that we have um, at this point very little um, or relatively little grasp uh, on. So it's, 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 I find it very problematic that we move about, um, or we move on in this issue like it is a uh, very normal request. It isn't. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. President, but the procedure in the first trial was that every witness would be examined on the entire scope of the trial. And with elderly witnesses in the first trial, the scope expanded beyond case 00201 to include all case 002 issues. So it has always been the, or, the, the order of this court that all witnesses are examined on the full scope of the trial. We have never wanted to put ourselves in the position of having to repeatedly call back witnesses. So I'm, I'm, I take great issue with, with, this, uh, with this assertion. C'est pourquoi je ne suis pas du tout d'accord. The President. President. 
la requête de l'accusation fait l'objet de protestation de, de la défense de notre de la Chambre a besoin de considérer certains points pertinents. Elle ne peut donc pas se statuer, euh, statuer sur cette question maintenant. Elle rendra sa décision après la pause. Monsieur le procureur, veuillez poursuivre votre interrogatoire. Monsieur le procureur, please proceed with your examination of the witness. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. Witness, I uh, provided you and your counsel with uh, a couple of documents. I want you to, uh, if you could, refer to E3-2107, E3-2107, uh, and uh, particularly at Khmer ERN 00068051, that's 68051, English 00290207, French 00655727. And this is a note in relation to a prisoner a uh, two tip which states i quote after ankar held a meeting on 24 january 1977 to announce that chen ranzi's group had all been smashed by the revolution and not a single man remained uh, end of quote um, my question to you is do you know do you remember who chen Ranzi was. Savez-vous qui était Chen Ranzi? Sure. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai entendu, entendu parler que de son nom, mais je ne savais pas qui il était. Mais c'était un chef militaire de l'époque coloniale. un tout petit enfant. À la time, I was a child. I heard the name during the colonial period. There is a reference in these notes to a meeting having been held uh, on the 24th of January 1977. Uh, this was just a couple of weeks before you left uh, for the Central Zone. Um, where it was announced that this group had been smashed. Uh, do you have uh, any recollection of what this meeting was about? Réponse, je ne m'en souviens pas. I do not recall that. Je n'ai pas vu ce, la tenue de cette réunion. I did not attend that meeting. In the same notebook, if you could now turn to a Khmer page 00068067, that's 68067, English 00290235, uh, and French 00655749. There are notes there for a prisoner, Yin Born, who was a former Khmer Rouge soldier who had tried to flee uh, because he was unhappy with the food and had not been allowed to marry his fiance. Uh, and specifically, the notes say, quote, he and a colleague both had fiancés in the village, and they had requested Ankar three or four times to marry, but Ankar would not permit it, end of quote. Can you explain why, during the Khmer Rouge regime, uh, people had to get Ankar's, Ankar's approval for the person they would marry? 
quant à la personne qu'il souhaitait épouser. Euh, réponse, je n'étais pas au courant de l'histoire de ces deux personnes. I was not aware of Mais pour the story le mariage, those two persons. il y avait une loi régissant marriages. cela. There was il a fallait law que les deux marriages. soient consentants pour the célébrer le mariage. Et il, est il était impossible à l'époque de célébrer un mariage sans l'autorisation. Il fallait également l'approbation des parents des deux côtés. Ou celle du chef local. La loi était-elle par contre, je n'étais pas au That courant de l'histoire de ces deux personnes. Law, je, con je ne time. connaissais However, pas le responsable de là où, où elles étaient. I did not know the person in charge of the area where they lived. Voilà, donc à l'époque, c'était en 71. That was in 1971. The, the translation I just received said 1971. Were you talking about 1971 or were you talking about during the Khmer Rouge regime? En fait, c'était à partir de 1970 que la loi régissant le mariage était telle qu'il fallait l'accord, l'approbation de chef de groupe ou de Il fallait leur aval pour organiser des mariages. Par la suite, il y avait trop de mariages Subsequently, uh, there were auxquels too il y avait many uh, une cinquantaine de couples involving Donc, about 50 couples. et pour cela il fallait également informer les And supérieurs for those to be conducted, et c'est pour had cela to que um, the on disait à l'époque que les mariages se faisaient par uh, plusieurs ou de nombreux couples en même temps. Group marriages had to be celebrated involving several couples. Et quand on refusait les mariages, c'était pour c'était pour garder les jeunes pour les rendre libres. par le mariage, ils ne pouvaient pas s'engager dans l'armée. Mais parfois, quand il était difficile freely, de les retenir, euh, tellement ils étaient amoureux, il fallait les marier. Merci. A little confused by your answer. Uh, you talked about a law. Were you talking about a law during uh, a law from the Khmer Republic government? Or are you talking about a law during the Khmer Rouge regime while the Khmer Rouge was in power? Réponse. Uh, le... En fait, la zone était sous As la loi fact, de la révolution. The zone yes. was était under the revolutionary law. Une loi de, de l'obéissance. And the law was uh, one of de... obedience. 
de coordination, euh, de facilitation. Euh, It had to do with coordination, il fallait les retenir, euh, il fallait les empêcher de se marier parce qu'il y avait times, besoin de euh, deux, euh, il y avait besoin de force pour l'armée. Because they needed them for the army. Uh, how was this revolutionary law or party principle, whatever you want to call it, uh, how was this communicated um, to cadres, to party members, such as yourself? Le, par exemple, au district de Trampkok, il y avait euh, Kom comme chef. Par exemple, in the Trump et, district, au sud-ouest, il y avait Tamok. In the southwest zone, au secteur, Tamok. Euh, il y avait des chefs aussi. In the sector, et in sectors, nous, there were nous avons reçu des instructions de We ces échelons supérieurs. Received instructions from et the upper levels. Euh, instructions euh, de les empêcher de, And de those se marier. Quand, euh, on avait besoin d'eux. Well, Donc, il euh, fallait convoquer tout le monde à des réunions pour married. leur expliquer ça. So we had to euh, pour leur dire que euh, pour euh, libérer le pays, pour faire la révolution, il fallait euh, les, jeunes, to les jeunes the garçons, country. les jeunes filles. We Et needed pour cela young il fallait Men and women. Euh, leur demander de euh, exprimer leur, dé, les, leur détermination. And Donc les filles euh, euh, à l'époque euh, levaient leurs bras pour montrer leur uh, détermination et les garçons comme ils avaient honte de ne pas le faire. Donc ils ont and some levé girls would raise their hands to do so. Bras aussi and pour even euh, boys être who were ashamed to do so would still raise their voices Donc, on ne pouvait in pas order être to be on the same level uh, uh, as the girls. Uh, so we couldn't afford to be too voilà, stern. So we had, had, had to negotiate with them pour, uh, and strike a compromise. So we uh, y avait trop de tension, whatever means we had to convince them. Ou deux pour, uh, so we organized stage performances um, for a day or two. Ces, um, les and during those uh, performances, Performances when uh, the youths là would be singing, um, we would then try to uh, primer, convince them uh, et on ne pouvait pas to accorder follow the instructions. Uh, plus de d'importance à la we violence could not afford ou to à, à la give more weight Il fallait être to politique. violence. We had to be diplomatic. So, do I understand correctly that the practices or rules relating to marriage um, that were followed in Tramcock district uh, had been communicated to you by the upper upper echelon. Is that correct? Good man. Oui, c'est exact. Yes, that is correct. And you, you mentioned um, that there was, there came a time where there was too many couples getting married and that you needed to start uh, group marriages. Do you remember what year it was that you started group marriages? La réponse, après les offensives au front, After the euh, offenses, les, the attacks on the front, les gens pouvaient se relaxer People could et on pouvait euh, rest organiser des mariages avec les chefs de l'unité, informer les parents. Marriages could be euh, organized, the unit le, chiefs les communes, would inform the parents, euh, les autorités communales, the organiser communal authorities, des mariages, organized marriages, comprenant euh, quatre ou cinq couples, parce que au front, couples, euh, il n'y avait plus de problèmes. 
at the battlefront there were no longer any problems donc il fallait euh, les marier pour éviter des so they conflits. had to be married to avoid any conflicts and the decision to have group marriages was that a decision made by the district itself or was that also an instruction uh, from the upper echelon Uh, et c'est à nous d'organiser ces mariages, que ce soit collectif ou individuel. Nous avons concerté les communes ou les districts pour célébrer ce genre de mariage, mais il fallait concerter également leurs parents. Mais nous avons aussi concerté leurs parents. Concerter également leurs But we parents, also had to consult en particulier les intéressés eux-mêmes, et en particulier les couples eux-mêmes. All right, let me uh, move on to another subject. The, the next uh, area I want to ask you about um, uh, concerns uh, reports uh, from Krang Tuchan um, that were sent to the district and then on to the sector. Uh, in your OCIJ interview, E3 the slash 401, at Khmer 00-373-475, English 00-381-025, French 00-426-213-214. Uh, you gave the following testimony. Question. Can you explain to us what they did with the confessions sent from the Krang to Chan Security Center, and where did they take them to? Answer. The confessions and reports, which were in the enclosed envelope and sent from the Krang to Chan Security Center to the sector, had to go through the district first. The district then sent them on to the sector by the district messenger. One or two days later, the sector sent the decision writing on the confessions back to the district. And continuing uh, further below in the same answer, quote, for the decision and confession that related to the people of District 105, which was sent in an open envelope, I would read them. If there were some names in the confessions were crossed by the red ink, it meant that the sector level had decided that these names were to be purged. To purge meant to kill. The district then sent these names to the Krang Tachan Security Center, who was responsible for implementation. End of quote. What I would like to do now, um, Mr. Witness, and with your leave, Mr. President, is to provide you a few examples of confession reports from Krang to Chan uh, for, uh, to ask some questions. You may proceed, Mr. Uh, Mr. Victor Copé. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my request is if, uh, whether the, the prosecution would also be so kind to read the following sentence uh, of that answer. Um, especially the sentence which, which starts if the names in the confession were not crossed by red ink. I, I'm reading from an outline. If the council wishes to use this in his examination, he can. Uh, I don't think that's an appropriate objection. Um, well, I'm always reprimanded for not uh, uh, citing all the whole passage of, of the answer. So clearly, the following up part of this answer is, is very relevant. I think um, the witness is entitled to have that part of his answer read to him as well. 
cette partie de la réponse. Council, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Can you tell me again which, which part you would like to read? Or can you just read it yourself? Sure. Um, if the names in the confession were not crossed by the red ink, it meant that the sector level had decided to release them back to the village. Uh, the district did not have the right to cross any name in the confession with the red ink. The district only had the right to receive the decision from and implement the decision of the sector level. And Mr. President, what I'd like to do now is to provide um, a few of these confession reports to the witness, uh, and specifically uh, starting with document E3-2012, that's E3-2012. President, yes, you may proceed. And Mr. Witness, what you've been uh, given are uh, three uh, reports, um, all from Frank uh, Tuchan, or from uh, for the Educational Office of District 105, um, which contain each of them contains uh, some handwritten annotations. Uh, the first uh, page which is uh, the first page of E3-2012 is a uh, 30 uh, July 1977 report from ON, and it has an annotation up in the uh, top left-hand corner that reads, smash them all, dated 7 August 1977, Tor 13, PROC. The second uh, confession example report uh, is dated, also dated the 30th of July 1977. The annotation in the upper left-hand corner reads, it is okay to smash. Uh, 7 August 1977, Tor 13, Prague. And the third report is dated the 11th of July, 1977, from ON, and it has two annotations, one at the top left that says, to be smashed, and then uh, next to two names that appear in the confession, two people that have been implicated, uh, there is an annotation that reads, to be arrested. My first question is, uh, do you recognize Crank uh, Tachan, Chairman's, uh, Chairman On's uh, handwriting and signature in these documents? Yes, I, I do. Oui. But as for the uh, signature and the handwriting, I recognize that uh, it belongs to Anne. But these uh, three letters I have uh, issued, I uh, issue it in. I actually left uh, it. Uh, I left on the seven. Mais moi, euh, of, uh, je suis parti le 7 juillet 1997, so uh, donc je n'étais no pas responsable parce que je plus là, j'étais déjà parti. Je comprends ça. Can you tell us um, who Prak Merci. was and qui était what Prak? Tor 13 was? Et, et ce qui était Tor 13. Prat was in uh, sector 13 when Saum was uh, sick. Uh, he had to be hospitalized and Prat uh, came to take his place. Anne was there at the time. <coughs> and the instruction to smash, what did that mean? Question. Et qu'en est-il de l'instruction de les écraser? 
ou à exécuter. Que cela voulait-il dire To smash means two things. One is to eliminate. Eliminate. It doesn't mean uh, that to um, execute, but uh, to eliminate. Uh, in other words, uh, to eliminate uh, the uh, sense of class uh, exploitation uh, of other people. So we have to get rid autres. of all of this on mindset. De tout cela. Uh, we have to uh, get rid of all the uh, this uh, bad uh, mindset. That is what that means in one sense. Voilà ce and the other one is to uh, eliminate, to, to get rid of everything. Cela peut vouloir dire se débarrasser de tout. Mr. Witness, you were shown these Question. documents during your OCIJ interviews. Monsieur le témoin, on vous a montré ces documents. Uh, and let me, uh, let me read, remind you what you said uh, in two different interviews about these documents. Uh, in, first, in interview E3-401 at Khmer 0073734754. English 00381025, French 00426214, when you were asked about these documents and the meaning, you said, quote, on this document, Prak, who was the secretary of Sector 13, made an annotation authorizing execution. And in your interview E3 slash 4628 E3 slash 4628 at Khmer 00373391 English 00379307 French 00426199 99. You said, I quote, the word, this word smash was a reference to killing, end of quote. Um, Mr. Witness, uh, when a prisoner confession report was sent to the sector and it came back with an instruction to smash, that meant to kill the prisoner, correct? That is correct. To eliminate, I mean, to smash, to Eliminer kill, dire, uh, that is écraser, it. Exact. But in, the, uh, in, uh, in another meaning, uh, it means that we get rid of the, uh, the sense of se uh, class in the society, de la notion de classe, but uh, I, I actually, uh, this, in this sense, I, I did ask uh, Pra, and uh, context, it was meant at that time to be killed. When Pra was there, and Saum actually exécuter. left as well, when he was Lorsque sick, he là, was uh, admitted to hospital, parti, but I had là, already left for Kumpung Cham for nine months already. All right. Um, in the testimony Question of yours that I read uh, a few minutes ago, um, where the council was kind enough to add uh, a little more of it, uh, you testified that while you were Tramcock District Chief, uh, you received confession reports which you sent to the sector and that you received instructions back from the sector uh, on who was to be killed, who was to be released, which you sent to Krang Tachan for implementation. Uh, I want to show you now, uh, with your leave, Mr. President, a, um, a report, confession report from uh, prison chief on um, uh, from uh, August 1976, 
Uh, it's document E3 slash 4098. E3 slash 4098. And it is on Khmer 00271-030 uh, to 31. English 00322-114-315. And French 00623-837-837. Uh, Mr. President, with your leave, may I provide uh, E3-4098 to the witness. Mr. President, I would like that this document, E3-4098, be returned to the witness. The President, you may proceed. The President, I would like to ask. Now, Mr. Witness, when you look at this document, there are two different documents copied on, on the pages. So if you would look at the left side, uh, what I want to refer you to is the left side of the first page. That is on page, Khmer page 271030. And then on the next page, um, the right side of the document. Um, this is a report uh, from Crank to Chan, Chief On, dated the 4th of August, 1976, a period during which you were the district chief. Uh, it's regarding the confessions of two prisoners, um, Lei T, a former Law Nol sergeant, and Ton Tien, a former drugstore assistant. Uh, who were accused of criticizing the revolution and planning to flee to Thailand. And what I want to refer you to is the annotation in the upper left-hand uh, corner of the first page, uh, an annotation that states, quote, to be interrogated, then smashed, end of quote. Uh, do you recognize the handwriting of that annotation? L'écriture de cette annotation. No, I do not recall. No, I do not recall. Réponse: Non. I do not recognize this handwriting. And neither do I recall this signature. Je ne me souviens pas non plus de cette signature. Now you testified that sometimes what you got back from the sector office when you sent them confession reports were names marked in red. Did you also sometimes get back confession reports with handwritten instructions on them, like this document? I do not see any cross sign. I do not see Réponse. the uh, red cross mark uh, there, but I saw uh, and this, uh, this, this one uh, was issued by it. My question is, did, question. did question Sector Chief Salm uh, only Monsieur respond Chef by putting Sector red Saint. crosses or did the sector office sometimes uh, write instructions in handwriting?
He merely put a cross sign uh, beside it, and he did not make any additional comment. And he forwarded it to Com, and Com review it. Uh, after which uh, he would uh, refer it uh, to Anne, and I did not dare do anything uh, without letting uh, Com know. You, uh, in your testimony, uh, trial testimony uh, in 2013, uh, this is at E1 slash 215.1 at uh, about 12.01 p.m., right around noon. Um, you gave the following testimony. Question. You said you requested for some release of the people from crime to chance security. Do you know what happened to those who were not released? Answer. I don't know what happened to them or where they should have gone, but I believe they died. Only some people were spared. Um, my first question, uh, did you... Uh, have the authority yourself Aviez to decide whether prisoners at Prang Tachan were released, du, uh, or was it only the sector or eh higher levels that could make that decision? Uh, this uh, issue of the prisoner, it was under the exclusive control of the sector. It was the matter within a sector's responsibility. I only got the information from the base. Uh, they uh, actually uh, brought up the uh, story of around 10 people. At that time, they requested uh, to me uh, that I was uh, lenient uh, on uh, that, and I uh, requested uh, to uh, uh, others. And I, when I came back uh, to the office, I uh, made that request uh, to the sector uh, based on the request from the base. I had the authority at that time to request uh, for people to be released from the uh, uh, security center. I uh, did have uh, that authority to request at that time. And when I made that request, uh, he agreed. Uh, but then uh, he uh, said that I had to review uh, it again, whether or not uh, certain people would be involved in uh, politics uh, and others who were not. I had to review it again before deciding to release uh, those uh, prisoners, but then later on he decided uh, that those people be released. And when you say that you were instructed to review whether people were involved in politics, uh, what do you mean by that? What, what, did you, what do you mean by people who were involved in politics? Those who were arrested and imprisoned, whether or not uh, they were related to uh, serious uh, political uh, matters, uh, if it was the case, uh, then uh, we would have to handle them differently. If they had done anything to do with that, uh, then they would uh, be arrested. So uh, Com or the militia in the commune uh, would see, then they would arrest them. But when I uh, went there, I actually found out uh, different things. It was not really a serious um, wrongdoing. Then I uh, dare request uh, to the sector. I did not actually request to come. I requested to uh, the sector because the prisoners were under the control of the sector. And at that time, they uh, instructed me to review. Of course, at that time, I uh, knew uh, that some of them were released, but others were not. And I did not know uh, because I could not find out the reason uh, to request for their release. Uh, 
because that was the um, the affairs of the upper authorities or other Tout people uh, had the intention to do it and I did not dare to uh, interfere uh, too much otherwise I would uh, be in trouble myself. That, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Um, J'allais justement vous poser la question. Did you worry Je voulais vous demander um, si if you asked too often for prisoners to be released si vous vous uh, that you might be viewed si as suspect. Souvent, si par hasard vous ne seriez pas Did you worry about that? Jugé suspect vous-même. Cela vous inquiétait-il I I was I was uh, concerned, but I had to be based on the uh, reason, the things that was not related to politics. In other words, if they did not against uh, the uh, the other people, and if I knew for sure that they were uh, good people, uh, gentle and obedient, and they were hard working, so we had all the trust in him, then I would uh, request to the upper authority, uh, I would have them happy. In OCIJ interview E3 4626, E3 slash 4626 at Khmer 00373465 through 66, English 00380133 through 34, French 00426204. Uh, you made the following statement, quote, as for people who had problems at the base, for example, those who had committed immoral acts, were educated locally by the village and the commune. But if they still did not obey the rules after being educated, the commune would ask for an opinion from the district committee which composed of Com, Kiev, Nev, and me, and the relevant commune committee. We would then hold a meeting to discuss the matter and make the decision. In the meeting at the district level, the party secretary was the one to make the final decision on the fate of the person being educated. But the district level had to consult with the sector party first before any specific decision was made. The sector party would then make a final decision. The district party was the one to implement the decision of the sector party. When, Mr. Witness, when the di district asked the sector for an opinion or asked for guidance, and the sector responded. Uh, was that response considered an order or instruction that you were ob obliged to follow and implement? That decision was the instruction. And it was also a guideline uh, on the working procedure at the district level. And did you know whether Question. the sector had to consult with the zone, si le the level above zone, it, uh, before responding with decisions on executions or arrests. In principle, they had to seek consultation. Réponse. En principe, il fallait qu'il y ait des consultations. But did they uh, seek consultation in every matter? That is beyond my knowledge. I want to ask you about an incident you described in your uh, interview E3-4626, E3-4626, 
and the reference is at Khmer 00 373 English 00 380 and French 00 um, You were asked uh, in the interview uh, how Tamak, Tamak was informed or reported to regarding Crank to Chan. And this is what you said. Quote, I thought he was briefed with either verbal report or written report about the Crank to Chan Security Center by the sector. I did not report to him, but I knew about that because in one day at the table of the sector level meeting, I overheard the sector report part, to Tamak about the matters cela, of the security center. I overheard Tassan tell Tamak that the group had been resolved. As I understood it, the phrase had been resolved meant that the group was already purged. And of quote. You were describing here a conversation you heard at a sector level meeting. Um, where were sector level meetings like this held? That word uh, was uh, said following the meeting. Cela a été dit après and la they, réunion. both of them uh, talked to each other. The only the Ils ont parlé sector entre eux. and the mock. It was between only two. C'était entre eux deux uniquement entre le secteur they et were, la mock. Um, speaking uh, in a confidential manner and uh, they only said that that uh, the matter had already been resolved so at that time uh, the uh, uh, participant of the meeting uh, had already left the meetings and then both of them talked to each other about that but i at that time uh, did not leave i uh, remained uh, there in the normal working uh, procedure, uh, normal, when there was an approval, they would approve it uh, orally, and they only uh, spoke one or two words of approval, and that was it. It was not without any. It was without any uh, documentation uh, whatsoever. They only said uh, the issue was resolved, and that was it. Uh, how often did Tamak attend sector-level meetings? After the assembly, when everyone had left, he came and subsequently he told us where we were gathered. Un jour, j'étais chez moi, donc à au bureau de One day, I was at home. Il est arrivé, oh, il était bien fatigué, et il m'a demandé si ça m'était là, donc il m'a demandé d'aller le chercher. Tired. Donc euh, j'ai envoyé un messager pour euh, aller le chercher, Tassom est venu à vélo également, 
Donc, ils et, ont discuté entre eux discrètement. Je, je was there, ne n'osais pas go and fetch him. participer so à leur discussion. Et donc, to après fetch him. leur départ, ils ont there was a discussion, laissé but I didn't uh, attend that des plans d'action. Donc, nous sommes à uh, convoquer des gens du de district, des uh, régions, des plans d'action communes pour uh, leur transmettre a des plans d'action. Officials at the level of the commune, and he um, Donc, gave them those plans of action. So comme it was not Tarmok. possible for me to know what he had told them by way of instructions. That is what Tamok had told them. And uh, can you tell me? Um, where where were these sector level meetings held? Were they held somewhere in Tramcock district? D'habitude, quand Tamok s'y rendait, c'était au district de Tramcock. On ne pouvait pas tenir des réunions à Kiribong ou à Ankoche. Il fallait que tout le monde venait à Tramcock avant la venue de Tamok. Et on avait émis les lettres à tous les districts. Et comme j'étais là comme hôte, je devais accueillir tout le monde. Et si je suis là comme hôte, je devais accueillir tout le monde et les nourrir. Voilà, donc il fallait prévoir un euh, durée des, des plats so we had to pour accueillir des gens qui venant d'un côté qui uh, vivent. Prepare bon food, rice, et etc., etc. To welcome people who came from Kirivong and other places. Et si la réunion euh, se tenait seulement pour une journée, il fallait les If accueillir pour une journée. Si ça durait une semaine, il fallait les accueillir. A day, we had to house them for a day. If it lasted a week, we had to house them for a week. And before I move on to another subject, was there a Sector 13 office in Tramcock? And if so, where was that office? Le bureau du secteur 13 the se trouvait dans le district de Tramcock. Was in Tramcock district. Et après la guerre, j'en ai, ai construit un war, deuxième, un plus grand, qui se trouvait au nord. C'était un endroit confortable. In the north. That was a more Convenient location. Il ne s'est pas approprié le bureau, mais il venait, euh, il venait pour travailler Tamok également. They did not take the office, mais ce n'était pas de manière permanente. Euh, il venait they came pour to work travailler there. une mois ou deux, euh, enfin, une heure ou deux seulement, work there permanently. juste pour nous donner les they grandes lignes. Après, il repartait. For a month or two, Donc, and work in that office le, only to give us de, um, de instructions. A, a transmis, si and ce after qui that, a, the avait été trans, uh, sector chief would then hand down inférieur. to the lower levels, officials at the lower levels, what Tamok had told them. Voilà, c'est tout. Je ne peux pas être plus long. That is all. I can't say any more than what I have said. I want to ask you about one other incident uh, or meeting uh, relating to Tomok uh, that you discussed in your interviews. Um, this was an interview, again, interview E3 4626 um, at Khmer 00373 471 English. 00380138 French 00426209 and uh, here you were testifying about uh, another discussion that you heard between sector secretary Saum 
and Zone Secretary Tamok. I quote, after the sector assembly ended, I heard Tassam and Tamok discuss another problem, which involved a group of 60 people who were living in Chiang Tong and Kabal O villages in Tramkak district. These 60 persons were implicated by others. Tassam asked Tamok how to resolve this problem, end of quote. Um, my first um, follow-up question, uh, do you remember, Mr. Witness, uh, this group of 60 people who had been implicated, um, had they been implicated in confessions from Krang Tachan, or had they been implicated by a, uh, in confessions that came from a different security office um, that had been communicated uh, to you? Et ces aveux vous auraient été transmis à vous. Réponse euh, concernant ces 60 personnes. Regarding those 60 people. En fait, la resta, leur arrestation euh, fact, était liée à un aveu de, provenant de la zone ouest. followed West. confessions. From à l'époque, euh, à ce moment-là, Boone était West zone. présent également. At the Elle time, Boone was also present. He was aware of everything. He knew everything. Donc, euh, He knew many things. Tamok a demandé com comment s'y prendre pour résoudre le problème. Tamok asked him how the problem was going to be resolved. Uh, uh, répondu, uh, and il fallait, uh, he le, answered by saying that the problem at demander à Tim de résoudre ce problème parce que ces 60 personnes faisaient partie des gens qui participaient à la lutte secrète. Those 60 people uh, were Boone people who had been involved in this secret struggle. So ces gens-là faisaient Boone partie de la lutte secrète et je lui ai demandé pourquoi les arrêter et elle a répondu parce que si elle les a remises en cause donc c'était après l'arrestation de si que cette remise en cause de ces 60 personnes était donc il fallait Donc, euh, il euh, fallait, euh, so, après euh, une enquête, euh, on a accepté an ces, deux, euh, ces 60, euh, on a accueilli ces 60 personnes et qui persons restent en vie jusqu'à nos jours. Donc, j'aimerais profiter de l'occasion pour dire à l'ONU, à l'humanité entière, que les membres du Parti communiste du Kampoutia ne faisaient que se battre entre eux. Et les membres de l'humanité en santé du Kampoutia were not only fighting with village, one another, y avait, they did more than uh, fight with one another. Ce, ce nombre, enfin, de personnes, donc 60 personnes qui luttaient. We have the case of these 60 persons Tamok. who were engaged in this struggle. I do not know donc, exactly uh, the nature uh, of the problem we had with Tamok. Uh, de confl uh, so there were si lots of conflicts between uh, the people uh, during si that period. Et Tamok était plus flûté en armée mm. et en politique, Tamok apparemment. was more skilled uh, in military matters Pali, and in politics. Après la, he uh, established guerre, a school uh, in Pali. Les so, during the colonial period, he had gone to Vietnam and he subsequently returned to Cambodia. Uh, apparemment, c'était un, uh, une guerre entre deux vétérans uh, qui uh, se concurrençaient pour uh, uh, la, who, uh, le prestige, la fighting uh, une lutte de pouvoir. Influence. Donc, si It was a power struggle between them. Parti uh, à l'ouest, so à la zone ouest, to the west zone. 
Et après, si il a disparu, donc il restait que le and Tamok then, et quelqu'un uh, de Korkong a disparu and également. And donc, left, uh, vous voyez, parce qu'il n'y avait pas de tolérance uh, entre eux. Et quelqu'un de Tamok a aussi parce qu'ils ne tolérer l'un l'autre. Donc, étant donné qu'il y avait des problèmes euh, internes, since there were internal conflicts, euh, en fait c'est plutôt c'est ces problèmes internes a permis uh, le, euh, le procès actuel que vous êtes en train de juger, à la route of the current trial, le président, merci, président. Monsieur Petiam. Thank you, Mr. Le Big moment d'observer euh, une pause It is time est venu. Madame la juge Fens, uh, avez-vous des questions Judge à poser Fence, do you have any questions? Uh, au procureur I have two questions. To to the prosecutor. Fence, two questions to the prosecutor um, in relation to the request for additional time and uh, counsel corpus um, objection when it comes to the part of the argument that dealt with the scope. Just to clarify, does the prosecution wish to ask questions that are outside the scope of case 022 as defined by the um, decision on severance? Not at all, Your Honor. These are questions within the scope of case 002-02. Thank you. Then the second question doesn't need to be asked. Allez-y, vous maître. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Juste pour que la Chambre soit parfaitement Thank informée, pour qu'elle puisse prendre sa décision lors de la pause, nous avions l'intention de prendre 1h20 pour poser des questions, 20 minutes sur la question des mariages forcés par ma consoeur, et j'aurai besoin d'une heure. Donc je vous demande aussi de considérer la demande d'extension, indépendamment de la question de savoir si euh, vous autorisez des questions sur euh, of, la zone centrale. Uh, whether or not you would authorize questions Je ne sais pas si c'est clair. The central zone. I don't know I don't whether Il avait été prévu uh, que nous ayons en tout is clear enough, une heure it had been de notre visage, côté. That would have 20 one, minutes pour ma consoeur sur la question uh, des mariages forcés minutes, et une heure pour moi. My ce qui veut dire que si nous commençons aujourd'hui, nous ne pourrons de toute façon pas finir avant la fin de la journée et que nous souhaiterions avoir la possibilité de déborder sur la première session de demain matin pour finir ce que nous avions prévu pour ce témoin. Donc je demanderai à la Chambre de prendre en compte ces éléments indépendamment de la requête du procureur et de l'objection de notre confrère sur les questions concernant la zone centrale. J'espère que c'est clair pour la Chambre qui a l'air perplexe, pour les parties également. Et il nous semblait que nous avions une demi-journée en plus vendredi, puisque ce témoin était prévu pour deux jours et demi. Et de, dès lors, cela nous faisait terminer vendredi à midi. Et que si vous nous autorisiez à obtenir une session supplémentaire, vous pourriez de fait donner le même temps à la défense pour que les temps Donc, restent équitables entre les parties. C'était les observations que je voulais faire et je m'en rapporte so that, uh, à l'appréciation de la Chambre sur ce point. The combined request. How much time do prosecution and co-lead lawyers? How much more time do prosecution and co-lead lawyers ask for combined? Uh, my friend can correct me if I misunderstand, but uh, if if they have the morning session, the first morning session tomorrow, that is about an hour and 15 minutes, so I, I think they would finish in that. What she's saying is that if they start at 3 o'clock, they need an hour and 15 or an hour and 20. So the last, the last session this, a, this afternoon is shorter than the first morning session. I think that's... So Could you answer the question? How much extension is requested? The exact same thing we, we asked for before, which is just the first 
session tomorrow morning. Thank you. Allez-y, Judge Lavergne. Judge Lavergne. Oui, merci, Monsieur le Président. Monsieur le, le Procureur you, President. Lissac, c'est une question pour Mr. vous. Je comprends Lysak, que vous ne souhaitez pas étendre, poser des questions en dehors du scope du, de la portée du dossier 2.2, mais euh, c'est une question que vous envisagez concerne la zone centrale, the question, qui autrefois était la zone nord. Or, il me semble que dans notre décision sur la disjonction, dans l'annexe qui jointe à cette décision, euh, décision nous n'avons envisagé que euh, les politiques, notamment concernant les purges internes, d'une façon très générale, et general nous manner. avons même prévu And une note de bas de page, numéro 9, dans laquelle note, nous avons dit que nous pourrions éventuellement envisager d'étendre euh, euh, l'examen des faits concernant les purges internes à la zone nord et est, on factual matters Mais regarding ceci the North and East demande d'extension de l'étendue du procès de deux. J'avoue ne pas très bien comprendre uh, où vous situez par rapport à ces questions of, uh, sur la zone centrale. I don't know what is your position regarding these matters that have to do with the central zone. Uh, let me be clear. Um, Accusation. The Je reprécise. People who were the victims of this purge in the central, which is the old north zone. So it's part, there are two zones that are part of that internal purge. The central zone is the old north zone, so it's part of that. But the victims of this purge um, that are the subject of this questioning were people who went to S21. So it, it, the testimony um, on this subject relates to S21 and the issue of purges of cadres, which of course are, are, are connected. So I, I, I hope that, and I think it'll be very clear um, it, uh, from the, the witnesses' interview as well and from the questions I will ask which part of the case they relate to. S21, so, uh, I understand. Okay. So the questions will be relating to S21. S21, That is the crime site that we're dealing with. And in, in fact, yes, there's also a section segment of this trial called internal purges. So it, it's relevant to both of those. There's obviously a significant overlap connection between that. In answer to your other question, Judge Laverne, I know you're referring to a footnote, I believe, that was in the severance decision. Um, I, I, I would need to consult with uh, uh, the office to know whether we would have any intention to, to do that, but not, not at this time. My, my present request has nothing to do with expanding the scope of, of, of the trial. President, l'accusation euh, se, se trompe peut-être euh, quand elle, quand elle a dit que la, is wrong. la durée de l'audience du matin est plus longue que celle that, uh, de l'après-midi. Euh, peut-être que c'est plutôt le matin euh, euh, est plus euh, court que l'après-midi parce que la, la, la chambre a prononcé souvent tout ce qui a trait à la procédure euh, au début. And, uh, Donc, the chamber will have to rule le moment est venu d'observer une pause et accordingly it is time for us to take a break avant 3h10 we shall resume euh uh, d'audience veuillez vous occuper du témoin 3 uh, court officer et veuillez le reconduire également au prétoire à 3h10 ainsi que son avocat de permanence 10 pm as well as his duty counsel